All right, storage back again. We made this template last time to draw the lines for the mid letter pipe. We are now going to go make the template. This is kind of like a template right here that has the holes in it so that you can put it in the in, in these in the pipes. And remember, these are the 200 psi, really small thin wall. Not the schedule 40. Schedule 40 will break your bit. So you want the thin stuff. Also, you can clean out a lot easier when you have the large sprinkler pipes. So what I do is I took one of these uh, 200 PSI pipes, I come over to my table, line it up, tighten tighten down with the clamp so it doesn't move around on me, and then I need, I need to make marks at 12 and 4. So I come over here at the end, I like at 12 o'clock, I make my great old mark there, and then I decide this is about 4 o'clock, and I make the 12 and the 4 o'clock mark. Remember, this is not for the holes. This is just, this is just to uh, start for my cuts for the template. So I come over here, I line up my, my pencil on here, and I go along. And now I have a nice straight line on my pipe there. Now I'm going to twist it to the 4 o'clock, so the 4 o'clock is now at 12 o'clock. And once I see that that's pretty well lined up, tighten the clamp down, take my pencil thing, make sure it looks, looks pretty good. I'm turn it around. I didn't get it fully centered. Okay. And then walk across here. And I got a nice straight line on there. Now I have a, a line at 12 and I have a line at 4 o'clock. I want to cut on the inside, so I want to cut 12.05 and 3.55 or whatever. I've got this nice slick gun. You might have scissors or something to cut the pipe. Um, your forearms will feel great when you do that, but you'll be grateful. PSI pipe. We talked about that. Remember, 200 PSI pipe. Okay, another thing that I did. I also we're gonna you're gonna end up when you end up drawing the lines and stuff, the horizontal ones. It's every four inches. I marked it on my table because 
we'll be used to do a lot of these. So you want to start two inches from the end, every four inches after that. Uh, that's what you end up doing. But I'll probably talk about that a little bit more too. So I clamp down this pipe, this brand new pipe. This will be the one that I would actually end up keeping to drill. My pipes have been sitting up on a cabinet. They're kind of bent. You line this end up. When you do this, remember this is cut now, this one pipe, you want to look over your pipe because you want it not to twist. And you just push it down over your pipe like so. Remember we're making the template. That's what we're doing here. It's our ultimate goal because it makes things fast. When I had my template, I could do one of these pipes about every three minutes. Um, and drill all the holes. Okay, now I got to think again. What am I doing? Okay, I got to do. You want you want the holes to be 10, 12, and two. So the clock at 10, clock at 12, that two. That's where the three holes are going to be. You come at the end here, and you come and you look at this thing. And this first set, it's a little twisted, so I'm going to get it. Line up. I don't think it really matters as long as you got 12, 10, and 2 o'clock. Alright, so then you take your block with the straight line. We're already at 12 right there. So then we take it and we draw our line. Got a nice line on there. Now I do the same thing, twist it to 10, hit the 10 o'clock, bring it to 12. We once tried to build one of those, one of these, one of these things with a 10, 12, and 2 with a pencil in there. And once we made this template, there was no need for it. So I would spend the time doing it if you're thinking that. But do what you want. Okay, so now I got my 10 and 12 done. Let's get the 2 o'clock. I think the lead is starting to go dull. So I'm going to show you real quick. Well, I'll show you afterwards. Ha! I won't show you right now. All right. So now we got to draw the every four inches. So like I said, it's two inches from the edge. First line. You just come across. Like I said, then four inches. Like I said, I marked my table already. So every four inches, I'm drawing a line that goes across my 10, 12, and 10, 12, and 4. I got to go over there. I wasn't drawing it far enough in the right place. Alright, so you come across. Like I said, if you make enough of these pipes, you're going to love the system. We've made them for quite a few people out here. And actually, once you have this template made, you don't need to do this anymore. Until you break one or you're making another one. And then I made a little, because my table is only 8 feet, I made an extender on here. So I could just come across here and it has lines on it. And my pencil lead is dying right now. Maybe the key is to carry a sharper pencil. Yeah. Alright, so there you go. And it's two inches.
stitches at the end there as well. So now we've got the template. And I'll show you real quick what we've drawn on here. So you can see you got that's the 10, 12, 2 o'clock. We've got lines everywhere. We're going to drill holes at every one of these intersecting points. So there should be three holes that we're going to end up drilling. Um, I'm going to set up for that. That'll be in the next next video.